morning, Toomey. Hey, Mike. Good morning, guys. I want to show you another new 99 song. We tried to launch this one yesterday, but today we got it right. It is from Matt Sands and Linda Dodge. Take a look. This is Larry and Robin and Pan Paul. I'm the 99. <laughs> <laughs> On the night and night, all the jokes and the banter they make me laugh. On the night and night. Wow. These guys nice. are better all the time. Yeah, yeah they are. Got some great ones. How many are we up to now? We, I, there's two more, and that will make 22. So we've got nine, or eight, uh, nine, 20. 20. 20. Yeah, 20. So we can yeah. rotate them. 20 with two more to go. So this wow. is brilliant. Instead of doing album. the work ourselves, we farm it out to viewers and let them <laughs> do it. Go. Now we're <laughs> smart. Yeah. That's so, right. Yeah, two more this week, and then we'll have a while. Thanks, wow. Toomey. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you say we start at number nine? There we go. Some people regard 1997's Batman and Robin as the weakest of the Batman movies. Uh, they're not wrong. Mr. Freeze is <laughs> one of the big reasons why for many people. Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. was Mr. Freeze, and he used puns throughout the film that didn't go over too well. <laughs> also, he, wa he wanted the kid, you don't need to, he wanted the character to smoke a cigar, even though he's, you know, frozen. Yeah. What happened was, John Bon Jovi stopped by the set early on, and he brought Arnold a box of Cubans, and Arnold had to work those into the movie, so the crew had to experiment with several dyes to get the cigar to be white. Oh. <laughs> Never but that saw was that at one. the point of his highest, right? What Arnold wanted, Arnold was yeah. going to do. So. Huh. All right, number eight, there's a new coffee table book documenting the toilets of the Swiss Alps. <laughs> wow, we're talking. Believe right. it or not, there are several outhouses in the most unlikely places, and you can see them all in Marco Vulcan's new book, Still Ort, or huh. Quiet Place in English. Let's take a moment to take them all in. The book's yeah. in German, so it's a little hard to translate if you don't speak German, but we know outhouses, no matter where you go, it's a common language, so just take in all the beauty. Wow, they're tastefully done. Yeah, they are. Except for that one, a little sparse. Well, who's empty in those, though, right? Are they? Get, that, 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 those are my questions. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's it. Oh, there we go. All, All right, right, number seven. It's rare for archaeologists to find intact prehistoric sculptures, but that's just what this is. These bison were carved in clay in the wow. dark by torchlight about 15,000 years ago. Robin, Come on. You might remember that. <laughs> this was back when they first domesticated the pig. Anyway, uh, they were discovered in a cave in France, and although the bison <laughs> only stand about a foot and a half tall, they are very detailed. Experts say you can still see the markings from the artist's hands and tools. Hmm. Well, look at wow. that. Wow. Wow. Something. Number six, there's been a sharp increase in people acting like jerks on planes, and it's mostly about masks. The FAA has received 1,300 reports about unruly passengers since February. Some of them can be fined up to 35 grand. That 1,300 is the amount of people they had to take action against in the entire previous decade. One mask hater tossed a liquor bottle and food and tussled with staff. A lawmaker from Alaska was suspended from flights for refusing to wear a mask. As one flight attendant pointed out, if there was an emergency, she would never tell passengers that they have a choice to wear an oxygen mask. She says she's trained to stop the spread of infections, and her job is to keep people safe. Right. Oh. Hmm. So people were complaining. I'm sorry, I posted this yeah, no. on, on Facebook, and people were complaining that, well, what do you mean I could take my mask off to eat, right? So it's the government being inconsistent. Like, no, it's not. When you take it off and eat, you don't have to wear it, and then you've got to put it back on. Yeah. I don't get it. Hmm. Anyway, I like you're speaking that, too much sense, Larry. I yes, just, Robin. The, the, the idea when you're so, before the pandemic even happened, I always felt like I was breathing too close to the people <laughs> next to me on a plane anyway. Right. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice, you yeah. know? You don't have to, you know, yeah. when you're, there's close quarters in there. Yeah. Well, it's just too bad. Flying yeah. was so joyous before the <laughs> pandemic. Right? Such a relaxing experience. Right. Number five, it's time to uh, up your pool game with a genuine floating water tank. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is awesome. It's wow. Pool, it's called the Pool Punisher, and it's 110 bucks on Amazon, but if that thing shoots water out of a cannon, it's worth it. This is the first kind of inflatable tank 
first kind of water toy that comes with a built-in squirt gun. Plus, you can hop right in there and drive the thing. That means you can control where it goes and where you point the cannon. Imagine how much more fun your above ground pool would be this summer with like three or four of these in it. Yeah. Uh, point that over your neighbor's fence. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> look over here. <laughs> and this is perfect to defend against that invasion from Lake Geneva. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful up yeah. there. Yeah, a bunch Put of a couple commies these up there. In your moat, Larry? Nobody's getting <laughs> over into that castle. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh -huh. All right, number four, foot peels. Yeah, what is this? Oh, great. Look at those now the feet, foot feet. Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm reading off no, my no, computer. Right. They're really nice. This is fine. They're all over TikTok and Instagram, especially since it's flip flop and sandals. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Larry, you got to see. Right. I'm not reading. There this. are lots of before and after videos out there with thousands of views. We won't show you the video since it's too early in the morning, but people are addicted to watching them the same way they watch those uh, Dr. Pimple Popper videos. Some say it's soothing to watch all the dead skin no. coming up and soft skin e re emerging. Yeah. Plus, they're easy to do yourself at home. So, Robin, it's all feet, like a nice, delicate woman's foot. Just shut up. I don't, you know why, I don't even like the word foot. <laughs> Tell me to shut up for him. Wow. Just, it's just, you know this is a trigger for me, and you I, keep doing it. And I just, it, it's very troublesome. Can I be me. completely honest? Yes. I, I, I did not realize it was this much. <laughs> yeah. You were, you, the, were you, you would just instinctive, reflexively tell me to shut up like that? I don't I, even like the word feet. It's gotten so, that far. Boy, you, so, you do you that use euphemisms like you do for body parts? Like no. you call them your piggies or something? Or no, what? you just. Uh, I, so it even the come word up. sets you off. I don't even. I just. Uh, would this be something that'd be worth unpacking with a therapist? <laughs> yeah, I really think. <laughs> We all have our issues. We're all carrying yeah. some kind of baggage. I don't know right. where yeah, this yeah. goes back to. I don't know. So you don't yeah. get your feet done? What do they call it? I don't, 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 don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just, just Because that would mean your feet talking. are even uglier. I don't right. want to talk about it. Larry. <laughs> Is it just the F word or you hear corns, bunions, I, any of that? I can't. Too? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I can't even. Huh. I really didn't realize it went that deep. I it's really, deep. truly, genuinely it's, did not. It's painful and it's deep, well, and I yeah, suffer look how inside. stirred up she is here just over this. You yeah. should get a podiatrist in here and a psychiatrist. <laughs> a podiatrist and a psychiatrist. Yeah. And if there's somebody up there who does both, that would be even better. Could you imagine? Yeah. Wow. Maybe like a traveling. Ugh. You are a special kind of special. <laughs> well, let's not dwell on this anymore. All right. No. It's time oh. to move on. Don't Ooh. act like you guys don't have your own oh, little listen, issues, yeah, we right? All have, <laughs> yeah. I'll move you a couple notches up on the prayer list also. Uh, all right, time for number three. Doesn't anyone buy actual bars of soap anymore? Yes. New market research says millennials are stepping away from the bars. Seems that young people and moms now prefer, prefer the convenience of liquid soap. The data says most frequent users of bar soap are men and people over 60, Robin. <laughs> I do like bar soap. Oh, the yeah, Irish Spring. <laughs> it's delightful, yes. the bar soap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the cicada invasion will soon be all around, oh, uh, not so much God. here in Chicago. So let's listen to a cicada chorus from BBC Earth <sighs> and wait for it. There's Ooh. a fun payoff. Oh, okay. I love a fun payoff. <laughs> After an absence of 17 years, the forest is now overrun by cicadas. The adults are clumsy and very edible. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> For turtles and other inhabitants of the forest, this is a feast they're lucky to see. Is that the fun payoff? Yeah, it died. Oh. Well, that, yeah. so. well, that wasn't very now, fun. Oh. Yeah. This doesn't gross you out. But <laughs> oh, it, it grosses me out, but it's... Less than the foot does. Yep. Oh. Huh. Nice to cap Oh, that's a go. Oh, How about a warning? A little... <laughs> well, listen. <laughs> it's not a foot, at least. Yeah, that's the truth. We could have been showing the babies. 
Toads. Can we see the gator? The gator just couldn't stand it anymore. The chorus of the 17-year cicada is part of a much longer clip on YouTube if you oh. want to watch the entire thing. That's a fun mm. yeah. yes. view. All right, number one already. I almost hate to read it because that means yeah. this is coming to an end. Yeah. A couple on social media called Josh and Lisa are pretty good at getting people to click. Sometimes they and their family members will title something as a hack. Sometimes it's, you won't believe her reaction, but it often feels like they're messing with their followers. Here's one where she's making food and you can decide if she's trolling everyone. Holy cow, that's just right on the countertop. Yep, um, all my friends are coming over. Holy this smokes. is the easiest way is it? to make spaghetti for a crowd. Oh, come on. And it's fun. It's all just right in front of you. You don't have to worry about dishes or a mess or anything like that. It's on your countertop. Right. Yeah, this is the this is how it works. But it's all over your counter. Oh, and then the up. next step is you need a meatball list. A meatball list. Okay. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wow, this is wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Right in line. Gosh. Look at the time she's this is that so cool way to feed a ton of people. I was so just so offended if she wasn't using yep. a jar sauce. <laughs> you just go on a straight line, and then you take your noodles. Oh my gosh. Uh, noodles? Oh, I can't it. watch her anymore. Wow. Spaghetti. Awful. And this is not, I don't think this is going to be enough noodles. Yeah. So you definitely That's like nails on a chalkboard okay. to me so when somebody calls pasta there. noodles. Wow. Really? Just like that. Noodles? Oh, so wow. that's a trigger for you? Yeah. Oh it's just, gosh, it just, so cool. it's just, it's like. Thank you, Ray. Do we do? Well, well, this bothers you? Yeah, well, it, it bothers me, but I'm okay, not about to have a panic attack because of seeing it. Done. Look at its jarred yeah, sauce and noodles. Oh, uh, jarred Pat. sauce and noodles. Ooh. These medigons, the way they right destroy our food. <laughs> so are they real? Are they saying that people come? Come on. No, it's a, it's she's ridiculous. trolling everybody. Yeah. The noodles. Is but it doesn't look noodles? terrible. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm making noodles and meatballs tonight. Ugh. Just destroy my culture. <laughs> well, we learned a lot about each other. Today. Yes, we yeah, did. yeah, we this sure nice. did. We That's what this it. segment's all about. Yeah. Mm. That's why they call it the nine at nine. Yep.